My father's Dharam have been something like an interactive Broadway show. Okay. It's been yeah. a lot of performing and a lot of okay. audience participation. And it was always very exciting for me to see how the guests would react because it was totally not what they were expecting. It was very spelled out. Now we're going to have, we're going to take questions and there were pistachios and if you asked a good question you got a pistachio and if you gave a good answer and if you were a child and you had the guts to say something even if it wasn't related to the Seder you got a pistachio. And speaking out was encouraged and there were jokes and laughing and overactive, yeah, uh, you know, over exaggerated okay. acting and now yeah, Paro and Moshe. It was, it was like a play. It was like the night when like all of history came to life. I would say the secret sauce is to realize that there's no rush, that this is this is game time, this is what your kids are going to remember, this is going to give them their emuna, this is going to give them their Jewish pride, uh, this is the time where they're open to hearing all the lessons that you have to say, from halacha to agada to, to the joy of Yiddishkeit. And don't don't shortchange them. It's a concept that works all year round, but uh, much much more so on Pesach, which is to, to really learn how to aim the spotlight at the guests and especially the children. And uh, the kids should feel like like they are the stars of the show. It's incredibly important. So, like it's a simple thing, but I've seen it the other way and I don't understand it. So, you know, a lot of people do the the ten plates, the makas, and then the father takes the here is the here is the cow and the cow is dying and you know out of here is the wild animals. Guess what? The kids have seen it every year. They want to be the ones to do it. So father, don't do it. Get, let them be the wild animals. That's how they are anyway. Like, let them throw the ping pong balls by Barak. Um, let them start. Let, let them start. Validate to bore the audience if you're a speaker, and it becomes a felony to bore your children at a at the one event that's supposed to be the the transmission. This is the transmission of the heritage because everything rides on the Pesach story. Everything. If Hashem didn't take us out of Mitzrayim, then He didn't give us the Torah. If he didn't give us the Torah, then what are we doing here? 